is up and welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday and as you guys can see we are currently in the Planning Roses office. For some reason on Sundays I really love to just stay in my PJs, get all cozy and comfy and then do a lot of like organizing and cleaning and just getting my space back together and today I actually asked you guys on Instagram yesterday if you'd want to see a sticker declutter which I have not done this in a very long time. I have way too many stickers and my planning style has definitely changed over the past year and I feel like you know we need to go through the stickers and make sure that my sticker collection reflects my planning style now. It's a little bit more simplistic and like icon heavy so I'm really really excited to do this with you guys. Um, a lot of you have also said that you want to see more planner content on the channel so we're definitely doing that. I'm so excited. I have so many videos planned in the planner content area so yeah if you are interested in any planner content definitely make sure that you are subscribed even get that notification bell turned on so that you're notified whenever i upload a video and without further ado i'm gonna put you guys up on a tripod point you down so you can see me go through all my stickers and we're gonna get started with this huge sticker to clutter i'm hoping this video is not crazy long but i'm gonna try to show you guys as much as possible and yeah Hopefully you guys enjoy. I love you so much and let's get into this sticker declutter. Woo. Okay, first things first, we have to collect all of the stickers, which I have stickers in every little spot in my office. So we're gonna have to go around and collect them all, but we do have some just randomly sitting on here. So we're gonna take those and we're gonna put those there. We have all of my sticker books over here which I do want to get more of these sticker books because I feel like I need more of those. We got a larger sticker book, another sticker book. Okay. And lastly, we have all this stuff in here. We got some stickers here. We got some more stickers here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, okay. Oh, there's another thing here. Okay, we have successfully brought all of these stickers into one place. Let's get you guys up on a tripod and let's get freaking going through all this. So we are all set up now and I am ready to start decluttering. I am so excited to do this. Um, I think I'm gonna do kits first just because I know I have a ton of kits and I haven't gone through those for a really, really long time. So I'm gonna bring those here. I have a ton of like my own planting roses kits and then I have some in here and I also have some in here. So I think I'll go through the ones that aren't in like organization folder things. So this is the first kit here. This is from GP Sticker Studio. This is one of my favorite kits ever and I really want to use this soon so I think I'm going to actually keep this one out. I think I might actually use, mm, no, I should keep this for like springtime because it's very like home decor springtime-ish so we're going to keep that there. I have an old September monthly kit from my shop which I do really want to use. The only thing is, oh, I can't use it. It's from 2018. Are you kidding me? This is from September 2018. Yeah, clearly I haven't been through <laughs> kits in a really long time, but I love this clip art so much and I do really want to maybe do a reformat with this clip art because I think it's beautiful. So yes, I'm going to throw that out though because, well, I could actually use the first page and just leave out the other page that has the dates on it. So I think I might actually still do that. Um, but there are two more kits here, both from my shop as well. This is the Serenity Collection, which I love this clip art so much. Originally, this was a foiled kit, but I released it as non-foiled as well. So, yeah, I'm going to keep that one because it's freaking beautiful. We also have a birthday kit from my shop that I released a few years back. Um, I do know that I have another birthday kit in here somewhere that I want to use that I more recently released which was the Winter Babe, oopsie, Winter Babe collection, which I love. So I think I might, 
I'll keep both of them and then I'll just, you know, have a few birthday kits. I think, honestly, I'm not even going to go through all these because I know I'm keeping all these. These are the ones that I, like, kind of took out of our overstock um, because we are having an overstock sale somewhat soon of all of our, you know, kits and just, like, item stickers and stuff like that just because they all have the old Plenty Roses logo on it and just, like, the design of stickers are going to be changing for the shop in 2020, so... I just took these out before I, you know, put the numbers in for everything that is going up for the sale. But I believe the sale is going to be happening on either Wednesday or Thursday of this coming week. So when you guys are watching this, it's probably Monday if I am able to edit this and upload it tomorrow. Um, so the sale will be in a few days. We're doing a bunch of, whoa, I just like yelled. <laughs> We're doing a bunch of random kit pulls. There's a bunch of more recent ones. There's some from a little bit ago earlier in the year and stuff like that. So we're doing random kit pulls for $7, 5 to $7. I'm not 100% sure yet. And then we're also doing um, like item stickers, icon sticker bundles. We're doing foiled sticker bundles and we're doing dog stickers as well because I had some dog stickers left over. So anyways, we're going to keep all of these. There's just three um, monthly kits that I'm going to be using and then just a bunch of our more recent kits. Oh, Geometric Force is so freaking pretty. And then we have just a bunch of Christmassy, wintry ones. And yes, so those are staying for sure and yes all these guys are staying wow jenna you're doing so well you haven't gotten rid of anything yet <laughs> okay next up we're going through this guy here i have wow a lot of kits here okay if you're interested this guy right here i actually purchased from the dollar store i think i might end up purchasing more of these albums just because I love the way all of the sticker kits just like fit in here. I can still fit quite a few more in this one, but it's already like pretty freaking chunky. So um, I'm also considering bringing these to Planning Roses. So let me know if you'd be interested in sticker albums in the shop. Um, this one is from Regina Laughs and I think her rendition of it is freaking beautiful. I love this clip art. It's amazing. But yeah, let me know if you guys would want me to bring some of those to the shop because I would love more for myself personally. But anyways, these are all the kits that were in the dollar store folder. So when I started doing this video, I originally wanted to do a completely talk through video and not doing any voiceovers. But guys, as I was editing this video, it was going to be like a solid like 45 minutes to an hour because your girl talks way too much So I decided to speed up a few different parts of this video as you guys can see now I'm just going through different kits and Talking about every single one of them which girl you don't need to talk about every single kit They can see it But I think it's just because I was just talking through what I wanted to do with them more to myself than to like the video So ultimately I did decide to just speed up a few things and kind of just chat with you guys as we go through everything so Yes, welcome to the video. We're going through kits. I got rid of probably five or six different kits. It's actually been a while since I have purchased kits, so I didn't have too much, and I'm really happy with the amount that I got rid of. So moving on to this little booklet here. This has a lot of kits in it, and a lot of them that I do really like, so I don't know if I'm going to be getting rid of a ton from here, but I'm going to put a few of the kits that are in there in here. I think I might actually take out all of the kits in here that are from Planning Roses and just put in all of the ones that aren't from Planning Roses, just from other shops. And then I'm going to get another one of these or possibly make more um, and make myself one um, for all of my Planning Roses kits. So anyways, like I said, this one is from Regina Laughs. And speaking of Regina Laughs, I have a few of her kits in the front here. We have this one here, which I love. This is like a planner girl kind of planner convention type of thing or like getting together with some friends to do some planner stuff so i love that one love this one this is succulent garden it's beautiful we have this one here 
which again is very like kawaii and like vintage-ish, which I think is really cute. Got that one. This one is from Dash of Sun Designs. It's a photography kit. We have this like strawberries and cream kind of kit. It has some like Starbucks cups. This is from White Deer Stationery, which I love. We have a blank thing there. We have the house to home collection from my shop in here. Oh my goodness. I also have another freaking birthday kit. I believe this was meant to be a birthday kit. This was from like a few years ago. I think I might actually put this one into the stash because I think this is a really beautiful kit. Um, this one here is the house to home, but I'm going to keep that one because whenever we do any sort of home renovation in the future, that'll be the kit that I'm using. We got this one here, which is the Marble Gardens collection. Love this one so much. This one is in glossy, which I'm not the hugest fan of, but it's still really pretty. Um, we got another one from my shop next. Oh, the Unicorn Wishes one. Oh, this one's so pretty. We're going to keep that one as well. We have the Planning Like a Pro one, Tropical Dreams. Got K Stickers Co. Planning Like a Pro. Planning Like a Pro. Planning Like a Pro. Planning Like a Pro. Like a Pro. Wow. Um, we have Murdoch Talks, which I've had this one for a while and I really want to use it. I love those colors. We have the um, Murdoch Talks uh, Grey's Anatomy kit. We got Little Paper Prints, The Office, K Stickers Co., K Stickers Co. We have Sticky Essentials, which I really like this clip art. Park Avenue um, is the kit from Ariana's Daydream. Aria's Daydream, sorry. We got Sweet Bell XO. This one is freaking gorgeous and I just don't want to use it because it's just freaking beautiful. But I got this from the Planning World like subscription. And lastly, at the back here, we have the Planner Friends collection, which this was available at, um, or this was given out for free at the Good Vibes Planner Meetup the first year that I went. So, so that is at the back, but I do want to bring this out. Okay, so while I'm here, I think I'm going to move a few things around. I think I'm going to do it off of camera, but we're going to add in some kits to here. So I'm all finished putting all of the kits that fit into this book. They're all organized. There's still like tons of empty things here, but like I feel like I won't be able to fit anymore. That's the only thing that sucks about these books is that you can't really use all of the like inserts, but it is fine. There's a ton in there and then I'm going to get some more eventually, but these guys here did not fit in this. So I'm just going to leave these out. And then I also have all of the Plain Roses ones that I'm going to put into another booklet eventually. So those are all of my kits so far and I probably will eventually buy some more but I do really need to try to use those before I buy more. But yeah these are the ones that I am getting rid of. Not a ton but still good. Still good. Okay moving on to I think we'll do these here. I don't know what exactly is in this one. I think it's just like some Oh, some icons. Okay. Let's take these all out and then we will go through them all. I really actually do need to look in here. Oh my goodness. I have all of my sticker party stickers. Oh my goodness. Why have I not got these out? This is exactly why I needed to go through all these. Because for some reason I was sticking to like all of like my small books and not gravitating towards this folder. I'm just honestly not a huge fan of this folder system, so I think I might, I really do need to get more of the books that I showed you guys with my kits in them. I really do love all these bigger sheets, but they can't fit into the smaller books, so anyways, let's get all these out. Empty this guy out. Okay. 
Moving on to my larger sheets of icons and functional stickers. I don't actually have a ton of functional stickers and me right now I'm actually discussing to the camera that I just don't use them that often. Most kits come with coordinating boxes so I don't really feel the need to purchase multicolored. So I did end up getting rid of quite a few of my functional stickers. The only ones I kept were those workout trackers um, from Little Miss Papery and then we have some icons from GP Sticker Studio. A lot of these I actually forgot about because these were all in a folder that I just never looked in. All of these amazing, these sticker party stickers I love and I have a ton of stickers. These ones from Little Bear and Me that were actually custom made for me which are amazing and then just a ton of Planting Roses stuff. I was really happy when I found all of these Planting Roses older releases none of these are available in the shop anymore but it kind of sparked my joy for all of these older releases again and I am considering bringing some of these back so let me know if you see anything that you love in this pile that I used to have that I don't have now and I would love to bring them back to the shop so yes that is all the larger icons and I'm so so happy that I discovered these again and I can put them somewhere that I will see them. Moving on I think I want to do this random pile here. I don't know whether I want to talk through this because I feel like this is going to take a long oh it might not take too too long okay so we have two of these which these were I believe I got these from they're obviously from Regina Last, but I got them from the planner meetup that we went to. So I'm going to keep those because I really do love the designs in those. And I am back for another voiceover. I'm not going to do too much of a voiceover for this one just because this file was very random. I had some stuff that I recently received from some sales that I actually forgot I had, which I'm really happy that I found them again. These ones here from Be Happy Plans are adorable. I love the like hand-drawn kind of look to them. We have a bunch of foil that I completely forgot I had in here and just wasn't in the foil folders. So really happy that I went through this and organized everything and put everything where it was supposed to go. This was just like a bunch of random stuff that compiled on my desk and just we all have those those piles. But anyways, yeah, let's finish going through this random pile. These are all foil stickers which I need to go through after. We have some smaller sheets here that need to be put into books and we have all of the larger sheets here. Okay. So I ended up going through all of the foil stuff that was in that huge pile and putting it into the four different foil colors. I do have a little pile of like random foil colors that don't really go with anything else. We have like the copper color and then the rainbow ones, but those I will get to in a second. But I'm gonna take this, this is where I keep all of the rest of the foil stuff and we're gonna go through it all. I have a lot of foil stuff. I also have this, which I feel like this needs to go with just like plain stickers because it's not actually foiled. But we're gonna take out all of the gold stuff and put that in this pile. We have now moved on to my very large collection of foil stickers. To me, this is a lot of foil stickers, but I feel like there's a lot of people that have a ton of foil. And yeah, I definitely stick to the basic four foils, which are gold, silver, rose gold, and hollow. Not the hugest fan of like different colored foils and stuff. I just feel like it's really hard to coordinate with different kits and stuff. The coloring is just never perfect, but definitely let me know down below what your favorite foil color is. I think I use gold the most in spreads, but I do think silver, like I'm going through right now, is my favorite. I don't know, I just love the clean, modern look of the silver in a spread, and it's just so beautiful. But anyways, I'm gonna stop yapping. You guys can continue watching me go through all of the foil colors. Like I mentioned, um, let me know your favorite down below and your favorite foiled shop. I would love to know that. Um, I am thinking about putting more foil into the shop in 2020, so 
Also let me know down below um, foil items that you guys would like to see in the shop. And yes, that's everything that I wanted to say. Let's get to decluttering the foil. Okay, so all of the foil stuff is now in here. And the only other thing that we have to do now is all of my like icon stickers and doodle stickers and character stickers. Oh, I feel like this video is gonna be so long, oh my goodness. But yeah, this is a lot. I think I'm just going to speed through this stuff because my camera is just about to die. But a lot of this stuff I am keeping. A lot of it is my Coffee Monsters Co. I think what I'm gonna do is this video is gonna be just me decluttering my stickers. And then in the next video, I'm actually going to full on like organize them because I feel like I definitely need a new organization system. So in the next video, we will, I don't know if it's gonna be my next video, but my next sticker video will be us organizing everything. And I Maybe by that time I'll have some more like books and stuff to organize things. But as of right now, all of my character stickers, there's like multiple in each little thing. But this is my emoji book, which I have a ton of stuff in here. We also have some of this girl, which she is the cutest thing in the entire world. She has a little Starbucks cup. Tamashi prints? I need to look into them because it's really, really cute. I do want to keep those. I also have Create with Pen, which I think she's like a little, is she a lemon? I'm not the hugest fan, so I'm going to move those along. And then I have a ton of Kina prints in here as well. So I'm going to move her up. And then I also have some larger sheets here here of her. I think I might just put the Tamashi prints just in front there. Put that like that. And then I have some Pinterest stickers, which I normally don't just like put in my planner that I am Pinteresting. So I think I might put those aside. I have some stickers here from Pink Rose Planner Co, which I purchased a few things from her. So because this video has already been like probably a solid 25 to 30 minutes, um, I'm going to actually speed through me going through all of this stuff. Um, my camera did die, so I did go through some of my like emojis and stuff. I did get rid of a few of just like the older ones. I'll kind of show you guys what I got rid of. We have like a few different little like icons and stuff I just didn't use very often. We have like the school emojis, art emojis, just some pages that I just never reached for, some like random ones. And what else do I have back here? Some of like the utility kind of emojis, which I did not know. I do not pay utilities, I just pay Francis for utilities. So, don't need those. Um, but yeah, I kept most of my emojis because I do love them and I organize them a little bit better. Then we got into the Tamashi little thing here in the Kina prints. And I added in the Pink Rose Planner Co. Paper Moon and Company. And then these are just two random sheets here. I have a few more open spots here, so I think I might add in a few other things, but I'm gonna stop talking now and we're going to get into this. I still need to go through this book of all like my Fox and Cactus girls. And I have some random stuff at the box back here as well. And then we have this guy here, which has all of the 
Planting the Roses stuff, as well as like my huge collection of toffee bananas, which I'm considering getting like an entire book just for my toffee bananas, AKA paper shire stuff, because I just am obsessed with her stuff. So yeah, just a bunch of random stuff that I'm gonna go through quickly, but we're gonna speed this up. Let's get these icons decluttered. And I am going to, I think, go over to Michael's eventually and pick up a few more of these albums. Um, if you haven't seen, these are from Michael's and they have like different covers, but you can take them off. And I just put in some scrapbooking paper just to make them look a little bit cuter. And I'm going to get a few more of these books because what I ultimately want to do is be able to have one sheet on each page. As you guys can see here, we have like a bunch kind of layered over each other and I feel like I can't fully see everything that I have when there's like different things behind. Like here we have like a laptop um, flat lay, but then also behind it, there's these really cute like planner flat lays and I never use them because I just forget that I have them. So my ultimate goal would be to have this as like fully a Coffee Monsters Co. book and then be able to put all of these in different books. Um, all of these again are like huge piles of a bunch of different icons from shops that I just I never remember that I have because they're all kind of behind each other so ultimately that is my goal. I kind of did it with the Planting Roses stickers so every single sheet is seen the only ones that are behind are if I have duplicates of anything, so I really want all of my books to end up like this. But we have all of this going all the way to about here, and then there are a few shops back here. Basically, if they are big chunks, it's because I have all of what I have from that specific shop in one folder. So I have like everything from Rory Sweet Addiction in here, everything I have from KPL Plans, and then everything that I have from Sweet Bell XO. So ultimately I'd like to split up everything and have them all singly foldered, if that makes sense. So anyways, that is everything for that. And then I do have all of my Toffee Bananas, AKA Paper Shire stickers just here because I do need another album for these. So yes, anyways, I believe we are completely finished. I have these three books. I have this folder here that has all of my foiled stickers. 
Ultimately, I'd like to find a new kind of storage for my foiled stickers, so I will figure that out later. And then we have all of my kits, which they are not like organized at all. There's just a bunch of kits. So anyways, that is everything for this video. Um, like I said, I'm completely finished in this video decluttering everything, but I want to, in another video, organize everything. So let me know down below what you guys use for storing, if you have any tips for me. My storage right now is just not the best, and now that I know that I love everything that I have, I'm going to try to figure out a way to organize it correctly so that I use everything. So. Anyways, that is everything. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also comment down below what your favorite shop is. I would love to know that because I'm always looking for new shops to support and stuff like that. Mine is definitely um, Paper Shire. Um, I also love Fox and Cactus, the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, for kits, I really do love my own shop for kits. Um, not like to toot my own horn or anything, but I do really love my kits and I end up using them. I obviously make them, so why not use them? And then I do really love um, the sticker party and stuff like that. But yeah, let me know down below your favorite sticker shop. And that's everything. I love you guys so much. Remember, you are somebody's reason to smile. And I will see you guys in the next video.